Lesson 8 Physical and Chemical Changes During hot summer days, you go to the kitchen and tell your mother that you want to drink cold water. Your mother gets uh, ice cubes out of the fridge and take one cube and put it in the glass of water and give it to you. The ice cube melts so all the water become cold. Then after a while you want the piece of cake. She gave you one. Then you thought, why this piece of ice change it into water and you can put the water in the freezer again and change into ice. But when a piece of cake is left, you thought, can you return this cake into flour again? You asked your mother. She said, no, you can't. You don't have why. Today, we are going to answer this question. Physical change. A physical change is a change in shape and size only. How? For example, when you have a piece of ice and you leave it in the sun, the ice melts and changes into water. You can get the water and put it in the freezer again and it will change into ice. So the water itself didn't change, but its shape changed from water, which is liquid, into ice, which is solid. Okay, when you have a piece of paper and cut it into pieces with the scissors, or with your hand, you can write on each piece of paper. This is still a paper. When you have a cube of sugar and grind it or cut it into pieces and put it in, a tea, uh, in the tea, it stays still sugar. It doesn't change. When you have a lemon and you squeeze it and make lemon juice or when, when you blend it in that mixer and make lemon juice, the lemon is, uh, the taste of lemon is still in the lemon juice. So it doesn't change, it changes only in shape. All these changes are called physical changes. Why? It is a change only in shape or size. Change only in shape. Change only in shape. So the physical change is a change in shape. It's a change in shape. As the examples, uh, I told you the examples before. If you have a piece of iron and you bend it, it's still iron. You, you, you only change it its shape. If you have a, pea, a, a ruler which is broken, it is still a ruler. If you have a pencil, and you broke this pencil, it is still a pencil. If you have a piece of wood and you cut this wood, it is still wood. All these are called physical changes because they are changes in shape only. A physical change can be reversed. Reversed means if you have liquid water and you heat it, it will evaporate. If you condense the water vapor, it will change into water again. 
If you take the water and put it in the freezer, it will freeze and change into ice. And if you take the ice and leave it in air or in the sun, the ice will melt and turn into water again. So it will turn into the original substance again, into water again. So the substance itself doesn't change. So the physical change can be reversed, can, can return to the original substance again. So it's only a change in shape. The chemical change. The chemical change produces a new substance. For example, if you fry an egg, you can't return the fried egg into egg again. If you bake uh, bread, you can't return the bread into flour again. If you burn wood, you can't return the ash into wood again. If uh, an iron nail rust or any iron rust, you can't return the iron rust into iron again. So, the chemical change produces gives a new substance. And you can't return the original substance again. So the chemical change can't be reversed. The chemical change can't be reversed. You can't reverse the change of the egg into fried egg and change the fried egg into an egg. This can't happen. It can't happen. So the chemical change can't be reversed. From the picture in front of you, can you give me examples of physical and chemical changes? Think and answer 